Tent, we recap the second matchups of the cute and the crafty. I am MC Martin, and this is March Mammal Madness. Hey, MC, I'm flying high over the sunny, inordinately sunny skies of Algeria. And I'm looking down here, it looks like the uh, Rock Hyrax neighborhood watch is out, making some noise, trying to protect his neighborhood and all. Hey, look, there's our friend the Bulldog Hello. Bat. He didn't bring his shades. He forgot to prepare accordingly. His, the sun is blinding him, and, and he's flying away from the competition already. This is amazing. The Rock Hyrax wins. As the pufferfish continued work on its art installation, the March Mammal Magic Portal beckoned. On the other side of the portal, the Golden Eagle awaited in the Scottish Highlands. The pufferfish opted to forfeit the battle and finish its art instead. <laughs> the Golden Eagle wins without lifting a single talon. The new Caledonian crow arrived at the Cathedral Termite Mound in Australia and saw a veritable smorgasbord of invertebrates. The crow poked at the mound, but the termite reciprocated, hey, pointing the crow to... directly in the eye with its defensive chemicals, My eye! repelling the crow and scoring a surprise victory. The It Jerry Jerry arrived in Kenya and immediately began tunneling. He burrowed along until he encountered wet soil, the Dick Dick's latrine. He dug up to emerge right next to the Dick Dick, uh, uh, uh. and then quickly dug a new tunnel away from this large and stinky creature. The Dick Dick wins. Hey everybody, it's me. I'm Puppet Brad, and I'm here to talk about my friend and yours, the Handyman. Well, see, Handyman has wandered around some old prehistoric lake with his handy band, the Rockers, and they're all banging rocks together. They're looking for some stuff to eat, and lo and behold, what's that? That looks tasty as a big old chunky lizard. The Gowana just showed up next to the lake. Yeah, so, yeah. the Handyman thinks, so I'll just casually stroll over and see what Mr. Gowana's up to. And he gets about three steps in, and all of a sudden, yeah. Oh my gosh, a crocodile just ate the iguana. So Andy Man decided to turn around and leave. Because discretion is the better part of valor. The Andy Man wins! The dwarf lemur landed in the scrub brush of Argentina. With Mary a tree to climb, he bumbled through the brush, startling the Mara, who sounded the alarm. Red alert. All hands stand to battle stations. Gleamer <laughs> found a nice, quiet, dark hole and crawled into it to sleep, leaving Amara alone on the battlefield. Hooray! <laughs> the sea otter can weigh up to 200 stokes, while the grasshopper mouse weighs in at this can't be right. 0 0.18 stoat? What? I see. I'm in Cold Bay, Alaska, <coughs> where the grasshopper mouse has just landed in the water. The mouse is pulling towards it, it looks like a brown rabbit. Oh, it's the otter! But wait, there's something else going on. There's a fishing boat and a bunch of orca following it. This is chaos. The otter is now diving to get away, and the mouse is. 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 It's reached some floating kelp. It's still here, and the otter's gone. The mouse wins! Ah! MZ, I'm at the Congo River, where the lungfish has made a nice muddy burrow, and the paleo caster has appeared in the burrow. Wow, they are instantly fighting each other. The lungfish is trying to fight, but the paleo caster has way bigger teeth and scraping up the lungfish. Whoa, the lungfish has pulled itself out of the burrow. Where's the, where's the paleo cat? There he is! He's up on his hind legs with his arms up in victory! Ha ha! You go, rodent! Woohoo! And we have our sweet 16, a bracket breaking bunch of birds, fish, insects, and mammals, including a rodent! I am MC Marmot, and thank you for watching.
the Interred. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs>